In this video, we're going to look at an application of a polynomial function. We're going to look at what I call a box problem. So this problem says an open box, so an open top box, is to be made from a square piece of material, which is 15 by 15, by cutting equal squares from each corner and turning up the sides. Um, that should say find the dimensions that would maximize the volume of the box. So what we want to do is... So you want to find the dimensions that would maximize the volume of the box. So I'm going to start by drawing a little picture of this so that hopefully you can kind of pick, uh, visualize a little better what's going on. So let's say we have a square piece of material that is 15 by 15. And then what we're doing is we're trying to cut out the corners of said box to fold up, or excuse me, cut out said cor corners of said sheet to fold it up and to make a box. Meaning that like, we're gonna cut out this part and this part and this part and this part. Do we see that? So once you cut it up or once you cut off those squares and the corners, you can fold it up and this will be the bottom of your box and this will be one side, this will be another side, this will be another side, and this will be another side, but there's no top on it. So that's really what we're dealing with. So let me kind of draw what this would look like from a 3D perspective. We would have something kind of like this. My dotted lines are what would become vertical. And then um, we just have our open top. So that would be like an open top box. Okay. So you can kind of picture what that would look like. Hopefully the dotted lines don't throw it off too much. So, but here's what I gotta think about. So we know that volume is going to be length times width times height, or, or you could think of it as the area of the base times the height, okay? So let me kind of represent the volume over here. We have length times width times height, and sometimes you'll just see that as big B times height, because big B is just length times width for this particular case. And what we have to do is we have to, let's write expressions to represent each of these, okay? Because what we have here is our variable is the size or the number of inches that we cut off on these little squares in the corners. Do we cut out little 5 by 5 squares? Do we cut out 10 by 10 squares? Because let's try to picture it. We could have a situation like this where the little squares we cut out are little bitty squares. But what that's going to leave us with is a really like wide box that only comes up a little bit, right? Hopefully we're kind of picturing this. So you might have a situation like that. Oops. Or if we backed up, we could go the opposite route. Right? I could take my square box and we could cut out like really big sections. And then when we folded that up, we'd have a box that looked like this. that would be really tall and skinny. And you're like, okay, well, which one's going to give us the greatest volume? That's the question we're trying to answer, okay? So keep going. So we got this. Now, what I want to do is I, I want to represent this with algebra. And what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to represent the length, the width, and the height in terms of this x, in terms of the size of, of square that we're chopping out of the corner of this piece of metal or cardboard or whatever. And so... Let's first think of it this way. If I were to call this over here my length, okay, all right, Jimmy, once we fold it up, this would be the length. And so what I want us to realize is that this length right here, okay, I'm going to highlight it, is not this entire 15 because you cut off part of it, right? The, the, the L is just this, this distance right there. And so what you got to think of is we cut out from, from this full length of 15, we cut out that part and we cut out that part. Well, if that has a length of x and that has a length of x, then this entire distance, excuse me, this entire distance right here would be 15 minus 2x, okay? That length is 15 minus 2x. Now, I'm not sure if I explained that very smoothly, so let me do the same thing with our width. Let's say we're now talking about our width which is right here, but once again, this is still 15 inches long. What we're looking at is not, when we're finding the volume, we don't care about the dimensions of the original sheet. We care about the dimensions of the box once we fold it up. And so what you've got, I'll do this one in, I'll highlight this in a different color. 
But what we have is that this dimension right here, this width, is going to be this, this right here. And once again, this entire distance is 15, so what's this? Because this is the width of our box right here. I can even throw a little W on it, okay? But it's going to be 15, and then if we're cutting these distances out of the corners that are X and X, and this would be 15 minus X minus X, because that's what we're chopping off and folding up. So while the length is 15 minus 2x, since this is a square piece of material, that's also going to be 15 minus 2x. And then our only question is, what's the height? Well, once we fold this up, okay, once I take this and I fold it up, this x, whatever the size of this is, becomes our height. So x is the height of the box. because Hopefully we can picture this. Because if I were to take this and this, and I were to cut out this section, then whenever you fold it up, those two are going to touch, and it's going to be right here with a height of x. And so what we have is, is we spent all this time developing this polynomial. What we have is 15 minus 2x times 15 minus 2x, which I could write as 15 minus 2x squared times another x, okay? And that's like our function for volume, okay? And now what we want to do is we just want to maximize that. We say, for what value of x is this volume going to be the greatest? And so in order to do that, I'm, there's a lot of different ways of, of maximizing that and finding that volume in a calculator. I am going to go to Desmos. So pardon me, I'm going to make all of this image stuff go away, all of my math that we just worked so hard on. And I'm going to pull over this Desmos that I created earlier. And so we have the function 15 minus 2x. You can see it right here, okay? times x, so this is our volume function, and so what it gives us, it gives us the volume, which is our y, as a function of the size of, of corner that you cut out. Now, I'm actually going to throw out all of this stuff over here because it's outside our domain, and when I say over here, I mean we don't include any of that, and I'll talk about why in a second, but right now we need to recognize that here is our, here is our max right here. 2.5 comma 250, and I'm, that's my method of solving it for the purpose of this video. Uh, X is 2.5 and Y is 250. Now let's go back, let's go back and actually figure out why that's the case, okay? So we've said that our function is, um, I wonder if I can bring back that old image. And eh, no, I can't. So we, we said our function is this, F of X equals uh, 15 minus 2x squared times x. And so um, what we have is this. We said our max was 2.5 comma 250. Okay. And so what that means is that when, when I take my box and I cut off corners that are, let me draw this neatly. Okay, so we got this box going in the corners that we're cutting out are 2.5 by 2.5 okay and so what that would leave us with if I take my box and we're actually going to fold it up is that means that these little heights are 2.5 or the height of our box is 2.5 and so what this length is is it would be whatever 15 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 is so I think that's going to be 10 okay and so these are the dimensions of our box that for, for this given 15 by 15 sheet, cutting it this way and folding this up would give us the maximum volume. If we cut out little corners that are 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches, we get a volume of 250, which is the most volume we can get, okay? What I want you to think about, and one thing I didn't uh, really unpack before we brought up that, that Desmos graph, was what, what's our domain here? What values of X can it take? So our domain which would be the values of x, which would be all the possible sizes that we can cut out. And so you know that the, the minimum x value, and I'll do this in inequality notation, zero is the smallest corner you cut out, because you could cut out no corner at all and you wouldn't have any volume. Um, and so our maximum x value would be, hopefully you're thinking about this, it would be 7.5. And the reason that I'm getting 7.5 is because if we were to... Let me draw another box over here. If this whole distance is 15, I'm cutting off 7.5 from each side. I'm basically cutting out the whole thing. I can't, 
I can't come any more over because 7.5 and 7.5 would make up the entire side of 15. So our domain is limited to this. And I'm just going to end by bringing us back to that Desmos graph. Um, and you can see that our domain would end right there at 7.5. That's why I didn't consider any of these X values or Y values that are past it to the right here. So I know we were kind of all over the place with that problem, but hopefully that illustrated at least one example of how to use a polynomial function.